The video game journalist from France seemed to have the most deranged takes imaginable. L like the very fact that these individuals aren't in a room surrounded by mattresses is very concerning to me. Like I genuinely do not feel safe as long as these people have a platform. To express this mental deficiency makes myself and my child feel unsafe. Like honestly, we, we as a society, we as gamers should unite in order to advocate for the censorship of these game journalists. Because apparently censorship is perfectly fine. Uh, there, there is absolutely no moral stand against it. Like everyone agrees that censorship is perfect. So instead of having it directed at me or the people that make my video games, how about we direct it at the games journalists? Because the gaming community was far less toxic before they came around. So all jokes aside, what, what exactly are we talking about? Well, this video game, Stellar Blade, comes out. Everyone loves it, everyone cherishes, but the game journalists are seething. They, they are absolutely fuming. I, I think like someone from Korea is making money and the game journalist is not cut in a little bit of the profits. Uh, and, and they're realizing that, wow, like the actual people that we're supposed to speak for, the gamers, they don't listen to us. The gamers are liking the video games that we're telling them not to like. So, so they come out, mask off, and you get to see the ideology that genuinely possesses these people, right? So because Stellar Blade has an attractive female character, this journalist, and by the way, Top Kek isn't the journalist, he's just translating the works of the journalist, right? So like, he's doing nothing wrong, he's going to French publications and translating what IGN journalists speak in public. And he's saying, <clears throat> yes, no problem, go tell us to the women who are hit, killed, denigrated, or who commit, you can't say this on YouTube, right? Self-delete is the correct term. Like the Zoomers created that entire different language in order to bypass the algorithm because they cannot live up to the fictional standards expected by men. Okay, so so in the mind of this game journalist, like you gotta understand like, like what, what he actually thinks is happening in reality. You have an 18 year old, right? Covered with pimples, living in his mom's basement. And he is surrounded by a tsunami of pussy. Like, like he's got all these hot women, like, like all these Nikkei looking like characters. And they just are desperately to ask him out. Like, like all these women, it's like an anime harem. It's like an isekai. Like, like th this gamer is surrounded by all of these girls and, and they're just wanting to ask him out. But, but this guy is like a horse high on ivermectin. And he's like, yeah. You do not look like the character from Stellar Blade. You ladies do not look like the character from my movie. So I am not going to date any of you. And because of that, you know, the women, their self-esteem is completely destroyed. Like they cannot function like human beings because they got rejected by this guy playing his mother's best friend, Stellar Blade. Don't laugh. This is what game journalists actually think, okay? And because of that, you know, they can't get a man to keep them safe, I assume. So they, they walk on the very dangerous streets of France and they're in danger because they do not have the protector. Uh, or, or how exactly does it work, right? Like how, how are they hit and killed according to, to this journalist? Like how exactly does it happen? Because I understand that men aren't interested in them. Right, like a man needs no woman, but the moment the man goes like, no, you do not look like the character from Stellar Blade. They're like, oh my God. Oh my god, <laughs> Korea, Korea, what have you done to me? What have you done to the people in France, Korea? Yes, I, I assume that all the woes in the world are coming from Korea, right? Uh, probably, you know, when you have like uh, huge levels of sexism, like in the Middle East or something. It's because everyone plays Stellar Blade. But, you know, the thing that infuriates me, and, and this is why I genuinely think that the journalists need a healthy dose of censorship, is because... Who do they think they are to position themselves between myself and my entertainment? Like, not only do they want the Korean to be unable to exercise his human rights, which are freedom of expression, but they also don't want me, a grown adult, to be able to enjoy the game. They do not want my son, who is at one point going to grow up, to be able to play this game. Right? They want to play Baldur's Gate 3, Bear Sex Scene. That, that's what they want my son to play. And you're looking at me and saying, no, V, do not ask for these people to get censored. No, I do think they need to get censored. Not ironically. I think they need a taste of their own medicine. What they advocate for others should 100% be done for them. Like, just how they think that Stellar Blade is evil, I think their publication is evil.
I, I think that if we want to live in a culture of safetyism, which seems that I cannot do anything to escape, and it's being inflicted on me, I need to feel safe as well. I do not feel safe with these gay journalists. They need to be censored. TOS violation. So look at this. The problem isn't with the design itself, except that it sucks compared to others, but hey, that doesn't matter. The, the free market is basically saying, no, we want to buy this. Like, no one cares if you're the outlier and you don't like the design. Uh, the percentage of males who will only want this type of fictional body in reality. You know, like, if we were to actually use this logic, how many women do not like famous actors? Like, how many women do not like um, unrealistic characters? Like, look at Fifty Shades of Grey. How many men are multimillionaires like Christian Grey? How many men have the body of Christian Grey? And how many men generally give a fuck? Like, you, how many men are concerned that their wife watches Fifty Shades of Grey or Twilight or, or any other type of female erotica? Like, no one cares, right? Because we know that human beings are capable of differentiating fact from fiction, and we also know that a human being is more than looks. Like, it, it doesn't matter if your wife doesn't look like Angelina Jolie or whomever, you know, the, the hot trend is. Like, she's still a person, like, you're supposed to like her for the looks, but there's also something else, you know, like her personality, uh, you know, the what, what she can bring in a relationship and what you can bring in a relationship. To simplify it and say that, well, you know, like, if she doesn't look like Stellar Blade, men aren't going to be interested in her. Makes me wonder if you're a reptilian or something. Like, are you an alien that just came on Earth and is trying to understand humanity, but, you know, you just got in, so your knowledge isn't that well-encompassing? Like, how can you think that? How can you believe that, well, the problem with dating in the modern world is that women are these lusty harlots that, that just want to get men, but the men are the ones that turn women down. Because they don't look like the character from Stellar Blank. <laughs> uh, I don't even know the gender of the journal. Like, the only thing that would remotely ha have, like, some sort of semblance to reality is if you're talking about middle-aged women, right? So, like, you have, like, a 40-year-old woman that has a kid, and she's upset that no 20-year-old likes her. But but that's not because the 20-year-olds are playing video game where that she doesn't look like Stellar Blade. <laughs> and even then, you know, like, that's a you problem. That's not a demographic problem. Uh, but anyway, right, so they go around and they say that not specific, not necessarily a specific designer or game director. This is obvious to anyone who knows a little French. Uh, only has this impact because as a good portion of gamers have become too fragile due to being fed by the patriarchy. Uh, no, like, I'm sorry, common sense does not cause fragility. Demanding that the human right, which is freedom of expression, be violated because you have an unhinged ideology that has absolutely nothing to do with reality, and, and you're getting people upset because you're implying that people are murderers because they're playing Stellar Blade. That is not called fragility. That is called a normal, healthy, human response towards an authoritarian person that genuinely needs to be in a room surrounded by mattresses. Like, not having this response would be bizarre. Uh, and, you know, like, it's the question, it's like, what, what should be taken away from you? Like, you want to take other people's entertainment, so in return, what exactly should there be taken from you? I think the clicks should be taken away from this person, which is why I'm not even giving their name, I'm not even giving the publication or anything. I do not want these individuals to have clout, but I do want to have people understand why they are saying these ridiculous things. So you can know the, the crazy ideology that they're having. You know, at least the right-wingers, when they wanted to censor it, was, well, we need to censor violent video games because it gets people to be violent. Like, like somehow, maybe it sounds good at some level, right? Even though studies show that that's not the case. But nowadays, the left is basically, we need to get rid of sexy women in video games because it turns gamers violent and women self-delete because men do not want to go out with them because they don't look like Stellar Blade. Does that does that make any sense? Like, that, that is the most crazy, bizarre thing ever. And if you don't agree, you're fragile. Well, I'm sure if, if, if millions of people are fragile, it's going to be very easy to defeat them, right? I mean, then you, you just tip them over and they break, right? So, <laughs> anyway, right, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.